And we are live. Let's see if Greg is waiting for us. Hello. Hello, hello Greg. Yeah, my bad. I, uh, what? There we go. In the green jacket. I don't hear you for some reason. Let me see. Oh, I know why. Hang on. Should be able to hear me. No. Hmm. Uh, this one. Try again. Say again. There we go. My, uh, it's funny because Zoom, I was on on the weekend on a course, so I was using my headphones. Mm -hmm. But Zoom has its own settings, I guess, that are separate from your, your default system. Yeah. And I have, like, for some reason in my options, I have the same, I don't know, name for my speakers listed multiple times, but only one of them actually works. I, I never click on the right one. <laughs> Anyway, how's your weekend? It was uh, it was actually very good, um, delightful. I mean, the weather was good. I, I, I had my first barbecue on Saturday. Oh yeah. It, just, uh, it turned out to be chillier than uh, I expected because um, my backyard gets shade after midday. Oh yeah. So it it, it was great uh, during the day because it was oh yeah no direct sunlight all good but then in the evening it kind of gets chilly. Right. I barbecue all winter. Good for you. Good for you. So I I do charcoal, so it's uh, oh, do you? It's okay. a hassle to do uh, any any time when, other than it's when it's warm. Yeah, for sure. That's so, that's a dedication doing charcoal. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so it's yeah. I mean, uh, compared to gas, it's a it's a pain in the butt to get everything started, but um, uh, there's something satisfying about open flame. Yeah. It's funny because uh, I was out walking the dog last week with my daughter and I could smell a smell that reminded me of when I was a kid and I used to help my dad light the, the barbecue that had charcoal because you'd use like that either the lighter fluid or the Zippo or whatever it was called, the this yeah. little white stuff. Anyway, it had it has a very distinct smell to it and I mean, I hadn't smelled that in, I don't know, decades and I was walking around going, oh, somebody's Somebody's using charcoal around here. <laughs> Imagine how how a little, little whiff, like a scent, can take you back. I know. It's so amazing. many years. Yeah. So Indeed. Masters is done. Masters is done. First Japanese-born player to win the Masters. Who? Hideki Matsuyama. Matsuyama. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I asked. I, that doesn't that. You might have as well said Vadim Shalkovnikov. Yeah. Well, it's it's interesting. He this guy won. He's 29 years old. Mm -hmm. And he won the low amateur at the Masters 10 years ago when he was 19. So it's kind of a, an interesting story. But it was, uh, it was good. It was like uh, he had a big lead going into the final round. Mm -hmm. but, uh, um, I think with, with four holes to go, he was up by four strokes, which seems like a lot. But um, then he had, a, he had a bogey and the guy that was chasing him had a birdie. On I don't know what that means. If, you don't know that. You don't even know what that means. Okay. I know the. I know those words pertain to golf, but I do not know what they. Put mean. it this way: it was a, a two shot. So the, on one hole, the guy picked up two strokes, and then he gets to the next tee, thinking, "Okay, I'm, I've got some momentum," and he he proceeds to hit his ball in the water. So that kind of killed his chances of coming back, and he, that guy ended up taking a triple bogey, which you don't know, but that's three over par, a six on a par three. But when when the, when the ball goes in the water, what what do you do? Where do you start off from? Uh, they have a drop zone, so they have a, a circle painted on the grass, and you pick your ball up and you go and drop it in that circle, and you shoot, and and you take a penalty stroke. So now, so one ball, one shot into the water, drop your ball. Now you're hitting your third shot. Ah. So. Oh, interesting. Well, you're you're going to be a prime candidate when I finish my. Uh, my how to navigate a golf course course. And no, I didn't study. Golf course course. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> anyway, yeah. it's, uh, it's good. I have a call at 930. So we'll have to wrap up uh, just before that. Well, screw you then. Okay, I'm disconnected.
I've uh, I'm working on my final my, my pitch presentation. I actually had some some engagement, so I've I've identified those two, three people in my group who um, actually choose to participate. Yeah, have comments. Oh, you saw it. I mean, you're you're the admin of the group. You you see that. Yeah, yeah. So it's um, it's been it's been it's been fun kind of seeing that. I've also had a couple of um, uh, people leave feedback. Generally, it was all positive. There was a couple of typos. Some person experienced um, stuttering video, but that was. It seems like that was a one-off because nobody else complained about it. Right. I have rebuilt my homepage because I wasn't able to fix that. Mm. Um, my homepage now resembles yours. It's like, uh, well, why don't we go? Uh, why don't we go and take a look? This is going to be. Uh, oh my God! It's going to take your breath away. And I saw you, you had some things where you had multiple, like two versions of your course or something. People were getting confused. Yeah, was I was, I was, um, I was getting my cart ready yeah. because I'm, I'm whoever buys will, I'm stopping access to the course on Sunday, right. but whoever buys the course will, should have access to it, but it shouldn't be saying beta. So yeah. I've just renamed it. So that, that created two versions oh, because right now when people logged in, they go straight into one course. But realistically, if you have plenty, many courses, you have tiles that kind of represent each right. course that you have to offer, kind of like yeah. what you have on yours. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it confused a bunch of people because, um, um, and also taught me not to fiddle around with stuff uh, midway through the course. Right. See? So oh, changed. yeah. I like it. Yeah. And then, and then just uh, text and about me. All of the fanciness, I decided not to recreate, like all yeah. of this stupid little stuff, but kind of like it. This no, nice and stuff. simple, yeah. I like the I like the uh, static picture. Mm -hmm. You scroll over. You mean parallax? What's it called? That that effect when when you yeah. scroll through the picture called parallax. Parallax. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know what that means. Yeah. So. Wasn't parallax the villain in Green Lantern? Huh. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm uh, yeah I'm working on my uh, bonus presentation, and a lot of people you saw in the group were actually asking about like funnels and how to do it. I was like, wow, speaking my language. Just make sure you sign up for the master course. Yeah, we'll see. That's good. We will see. So what? So apart from those uh, two or three people that are heavily engaged what are the other is any the other people still looking at the stuff they're just not yeah there. yeah I mean, yeah people are looking at the stuff um yeah. uh, just uh, i'm and joe was just talking about engaged let's take a look i've uh, inadvertently well accidentally let's put it this way turned off analytics oh okay <laughs> so it's just like i was like oh my god i can't see anything so i was thinking that weekend is going to be a pickup of views it uh, actually didn't uh transpire but um setting goals personal goals niches see the thing is it's interesting the um one two three so the key there's a lot of views in the beginning uh actually actually sorry i am i'm getting ahead of myself i was just gonna say that there's not a lot of views on the three there are three uh, lessons called niches Microscope method and validating a niche. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the um, why people were signing up for this to begin with. Like that's right. that's the one promise that uh, I was uh, to deliver to them. And they have right now four or three views um, between the two of them, or between the three of them. But I also I also recognize as I was trying to say this is it's not fair because this is supposed to be the second week when in my kind of big plan, there should be looking at this. So it's, it's fine that people haven't got to right. it. Right. But realistically, realistically, what, what I see is there's about seven people engaged. Okay. Yeah, so not a lot. Seven people like unique views of each video. The rest, I have no idea. Yeah. They're just, they're just there for the ride. It's interesting. It's um, well, it's see, it's 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 not it's 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 slightly discouraging because it means that the population I have to work with is really really small. Yeah. But at the same time, um, 
It's a numbers game. It's a it's a pure numbers game. Like, yeah. I mean, one of the guys, one of the guys in the group who started just a week before me, he has over 380 uh, beta testers sign up. So wow. if half of them make it to his platform, that's 150. Is is he the the copyright guy or whatever that one mm -hmm. was? Interesting. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. the the proof the proof will come at the end when you get your final number, right? Like, yeah, and, how many um, folks? And, and 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 it's going to be interesting because the next uh, the next launch is going to be uh, for like Natalie's launch, yeah. and yeah. that is B two C, so I have way more people. Yeah. Although it's interesting because B two B, one of the aspects that I'm going to talk to them about is the fact that if they do buy the course, it's a write off for them. Yeah, they're a business. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. that's what I'm, I'm. It's funny because my attitude has shifted in the last couple of weeks in terms of, you know, if I need to buy something or spend some money, I'm not hesitating as much because it's a business expense. So it doesn't mean it's free, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's different than being a private citizen and spending money on stuff. Yeah. Do you set up a business account? I do. I do have one. Yeah. The, um, actually I got to set up my HST account this week. Why? Well, I was talking to my uh, accountant and he was questioning me on it. And I said, well, you don't need it till you make 30 grand. And he said, yeah, that's true. But he goes, when, when, especially because I'm doing B2B stuff with uh, the leadership for retail managers, he said, do you, do you want people to think you're a small time operator or legitimate operator? Mm -hmm. So um, he, he suggested that I just go ahead and set it up. He's your accountant, right? Yeah. Well, he's looking out for his own, yeah. yeah. Because because for him, he also knows that you have to, as soon as you set up an HSC account, you have to file your reporting for HSC. Yeah, no, I know. So but I mean, the 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 way I'm looking at it is like, it's almost like uh, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Like if you want to make over 30 grand, you should just act like you're making over 30 grand. <laughs> Actually, that, that's, that's a good way of looking at it. So like the, there's... Like, what am I waiting for? Like, um, is kind of my point. Um, anyway, and uh, the uh, and I doubled down this weekend on my investment. What does that mean? Well, I, so this weekend I got to go to uh, the Clarity Live event as part of the bonus package for what I'd signed up for. Yep. So this is like a feeder event for his clarity coaching certification training, mm -hmm. um, which in the way it's funny because he ha it's 11,000 pounds for the program. Yep. Then there's an, uh, a discount. I don't know if it's the early bird discount, whatever it is down to like 7,500 pounds. Then there's a few pay before April 28th or 29th. It's 6,500 pounds. And if you're already a member of, one of his programs, um, which I am, Thriving Coaches Blueprint, you subtract that amount from, that, that's the call I have at 9.30 just to, to talk about the signing up, but it's, uh, so minus the whatever 2,000 pounds I already paid, so it's 4,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. And it starts in January and it, it runs for six months. Sorry, it starts in January? Yeah, they're sign like they're doing the 2022 sign up now. So you can pay, you can do it like a 10 payment, 10 pay installment plan. Mm -hmm. um, there's only 36 spots in this course. So scarcity, discounts, yeah. loyalty discounts, exactly. uh, deferral. So you can have separate payments. Very, yeah, very, very clever. Very good. It's, no, it, I'm not judging it. Just, I know. Just, it, it works. Yeah, totally. Well, here's the thing. Like, so this weekend was amazing. I, I didn't get up at 4.30 in the morning. I, I, I My alarm went off and I woke up and I said, no, I, I can't do it. I felt like shit. So I got up at seven and joined the call both days. So I, I missed the, the first part of it. 
because at seven, they're just taking it, doing an exercise. Then they go for a 90 minute lunch break. So you kind of miss the whole morning, but mm -hmm. uh, like we had each day, we had two breakout groups that I was in and it's just, I don't know, it's like mind blowing stuff. When you talk to these, when you're in a community of people that are all doing, talking about the same thing, um, it's pretty amazing. So that's that's pretty good so what what was the what was the whole thing on like what, what was uh, the well the theme about? of this weekend was uh finding your purpose mm -hmm. um but again because i missed the morning parts of it i kind of missed a lot of the the theoretical stuff but um you know and the the ones i was i was in is talking about insights that you've had and people sharing things um you know, it's very impactful and watching him do coaching demos with people mm -hmm. um, and the guy's like a quote machine like every five seconds he's saying something you're like oh my god i gotta write that down <laughs> that's great <laughs> he had one that i liked yesterday it was uh fear he was talking about courage because somebody said uh, um what they wanted help with was getting past the fear of criticism mm -hmm. So he said, he goes, do you want the, uh, he goes, okay, there's two, there's two ways we can do this. There's, there's a slow method and a fast method. Which one do you want? And the guy says, I want the fast method. Mm -hmm. And he says, okay, well, there, there's actually two fast methods. There's like fast and there's lightning fast. Which do you want? He goes, well, the faster, the better. So he goes, okay, we're going to take a break in a few minutes. So on the break, I want you to write down the list of the things that your fear of criticism is stopping you from doing and, and put the, the scariest things at the top. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back from the break, we'll we'll go to step two. So we came back from the break, but then we did other things. And so it wasn't until like the end of the afternoon that we came back to it. And he said, okay, uh, you've got your list. And he's like, yeah. He goes, so you haven't prioritized? He's like, yeah. And he goes, okay, well, here's step two. Just do the stuff on your list. Forget about the criticism. It doesn't matter. And he said, uh, he goes, fear is wetting your pants courage is doing a lot of things in wet pants meaning you, you just you do it despite the fear yeah um anyway i thought that was a, a pretty cool visual <laughs> yeah that's a that's <laughs> damn that's a good one yeah that's a very good one yeah yeah but this guy, the guy he was talking to, he's a realtor. He's in Nashville. And he has a, it sounds like he has a software business on the side. And he's been kind of keeping his software business a secret because he, he doesn't want to get criticism from his community of realtors and, I don't know, his friend group. I don't know, whatever it is. He didn't really give a lot of detail. But basically, after this exercise, the guy comes back on. He goes, you know what? Um, I've just decided that uh, I'm getting out of my real estate business and going full full time into my software business. So it's like a breakthrough. So it's, uh, it's amazing to witness like such powerful shifts in people's attitudes and thinking. Um, anyway, and you know, I like to think of it as decisive. Some, some may say I'm just a sucker, but like I decided like he's talking about the course and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I've decided I want more of this. Like I'm really enjoying every minute of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then a realization I had, which, and again, I don't know if this is like uh, rationalization or if it's true, but it doesn't really matter. But like, you know, my bank phoned me, whatever, a month ago out of the blue to renew my mortgage, which wasn't due until August. And it may be a standard operating procedure. I don't know. But I got a low, a, a good low rate that she was able to lock it in on that day and the next day the rates went back up but going through the process i'm now locked in for another five years so the fact that i don't have a, a job mm -hmm. as long as i keep paying my mortgage isn't going to affect my ability to, to have a house yeah and it gives me the realization like the house down the street here that's identical to my house is on the market for 1.2 million which means I have, you know, 900,000 or so of equity in my home. Mm -hmm. So why am I worried about financial, like spending a hundred bucks here or there on stuff for my business or signing up for this course? If, it, if I think it's going to be meaningful for me 
you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's like the so it's a different perspective on life. It's the serendipity of um, having financial certainty in a time when most people would be freaking out mm -hmm. um, is very powerful. You know, it's uh, it's a very powerful way to to approach it. Now, I can't afford to piss away nine hundred thousand dollars, of course, but uh, you know, for the next year, two years, whatever it is. I basically have free reign to do what I need to do to make this successful. Exactly. So, and it's a, it's a, it's money well spent, but B I, in that working out of that, uh, that context, I have no doubt that it will be successful. It may look completely different than it does today. <laughs> um, most likely. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't matter. It, I'll, I'll eventually find something that sticks and works and, that's the whole nature of this business, right? True. That's absolutely so. true. Okay, I'm going to let you go so you don't have to jump off and then uh, jump on. This is this this has been very inspirational too. Yeah, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm going to call this episode "Courage." Courage and yeah. repent. There we go. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye.